With Arabic sung and spoken, and Iraqis roaming the streets, the town of Rabia comes to life. This is a mock-up town to replicate a Shia town. It looks and feels so real. I didn't know they wouldn't know any English. I didn't know. I didn't know they'd be so serious about it, really. It's easy to forget this is Colorado, a training for troops at the Pinion Canyon Maneuver Site. They've got to come in, they've got to meet the people, uh, they've got to find out their needs. For one month, the 2nd Brigade combat team is tackling realistic scenarios in replicated environments. They have walls before you can get in courtyards before you can get to the house. You've got markets that are out in the, uh, along the street uh, that you have to be able to deal with. In this case, soldiers meet with the local mayor and a religious leader. Meanwhile, soldiers provide security, others establish a perimeter. There are multiple operations going on at the same time. All the while, soldiers learn about the culture and language. It is very difficult to have a conversation and get across your intent and, and your gestures with an interpreter. And we have to learn how to be able to do that. 20-year-old Ali Al-Fartusi and his family moved from Iraq to Syria to Phoenix. We trained American people how to speak Arabic. He's now working as one of dozens of Iraqi contractors, preparing American soldiers for deployment. They can treat the Iraqi people nice, and they, they can speak a little bit Arabic. But like real life, the scenarios are constantly changing. A sniper kills the Iraqi police chief. <laughs> A suicide bomber attacks a crowd outside a mosque. We trained for a different fight five years ago. As the battlefield changes, so does Army training. The days of heavy mechanized warfare have taken a back seat to counterinsurgency. Your approach is a little bit different. The amount of troops that you need to accomplish your mission is different. Uh, and the thought process is a little bit different for our leaders. At Pinion Canyon, Mike Kinnean, Fox 21 News.